Good morning. Amy here, your number one advisor in real estate with the routine. It's time for Amy's Friday morning million dollar walkthrough. I'm super excited about this house because I personally love mid-century modern houses and this is one I've been following for about six months now and it finally went on the market being listed by a good friend of mine. Uh, so it'll be interesting and fun to see what has been restored back back excuse me it's been restored back to many of its 1950s features so I'm gonna turn the camera around here actually I'm gonna turn around and I'll turn the camera around again this is a 1953 house mid-century modern three bed three bath and now I'm gonna take you in to get Questions answered by our mid-century specialist. <laughs> All right. Hi, Jill. Hello. Welcome, Amy. Walk us through. Show us the place. Okay, for sure. All right. Can you tell me about the features? Yes. Um, we have restored a lot of the um, mahogany um side in and the house and um, I just want to let you know that Arapaho Acres is on the National Historic Register. Nice. So this is a historical home in a historical neighborhood. Very nice. All right. Just walk around. There are concrete floors here. Um, yeah. We've had them um, polished and um, they're original to the house. Very nice. And tell me about the furniture and stuff in this house. Is that for sale too? Yes, all the furniture pieces are for sale. Um, they're, um, they're original mid-century modern pieces. And um, yeah, they're all priced accordingly. This is one of my favorite features of the house. It's a copper gas fireplace. Um, this is by the Reeves, built by the Reeves company that partnered with the developer Hawkins um, when they built these houses. Very nice, love the copper. All right, check out this kitchen, guys. I just realized I forgot my mic. I hope everybody can hear me. Ooh, all new Viking appliances. That wasn't here six months ago. No, 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 we've had everything um, updated. So we're keeping a lot of the original features, but you know, because we live in the you know, the 20th century, we want to make sure that we have the highest end appliances as well. Of course, I think that was a good call. Do you want to just show the outdoor? Yeah, let's go outside for a minute and then I can't wait to check out the master suite too. Thank you. So, um, a lot of the mid-century modern um, homes in the neighborhood have the indoor-outdoor living space, which Perfect. is fantastic. So you have, um, you know, more of a community at the front of the house, community. and then you, um, and then you have your private backyard for um, parties and families, or um, you know, just entertaining. Beautiful, beautiful, beautifully landscaped. Oh, I hear some water back here. Let's go check that out. Hi, Mindy. Thanks for the comment. All right. Oh, it's always good to have good neighbors that take care of their yards too. Check it out. Yep, this is uh, the neighbor next door, their garden, and they have a fountain, and um, there's a lot of, um, and we have a lot of fountains and pools in the neighborhood, it's, you know, and we have actually, my house is just down the road, and we have four fountains, so it's, um, are you wanting to go? Very nice, let's go into, this is going into the master suite, correct? Yes. <clears throat> this is my favorite part of the house, personally. Again, I saw this house six months ago before it was restored back to some of its original features. You got your vaulted ceilings. Yeah, I mean, that's what's really different about um, this house compared to some of the other houses in the neighborhood. It's just the height of the ceiling and the size of the house as well, you know, with it being um, mid-century modern, you know, a lot of them are smaller, but this one is 3,336. 28. 28, sorry. 3,328 3, square feet. It's a pretty good size. Look at all these mirrors, man. Be a dance yeah, room. there's um, a lot of the houses, mine included, have the, a lot of mirror features. You know, it's sort of uh, quite unique to, to the neighborhood. All right, let's check out this bathroom. I remember seeing this bathroom before it was uh, finished out. Did it have a red tub? Yes, it had a red hot tub and it looked um, very much like it was uh, Marilyn Monroe's bathroom and now we've um, 
renovated and we've had a um, potential one experts help us with the um, just with the woodwork in here and rebuilding these cabinets. Were the cabinets rebuilt or refinished? Just rebuilt. We've had them completely okay. built, re well, built from scratch actually, and then just we've continued the woodwork theme, um, the same um, as downstairs in the kitchen. And we have a lot of like little secret. There's a lot of storage space in this house, but you wouldn't know because a lot of it's hidden. Yes, I noticed that. There's no, there's not a lot of like little knobs and stuff. Yes, and that's intentional. And then here's your bathroom once again. We've We've taken the woodwork and um, the pattern of the hexagon and we've sort of reflected it and um, the lines in um, the cupboards and there's your bidet and your um, toilet as well. I love the circle tiles. Mm -hmm. The penny tiles that were... Uh, uh, actually, you gotta check out the shower, guys. Woo! Isn't this nice? I have got your glass shower. So I'm actually standing in the shower, you don't know it. I don't think you can tell. And it has a whole drainage system, so that's why we're able to have, you know, just everything opened up. Check out that drainage. Very cool. All right. Well, let's go to the basement real quick. Uh, we're finished walking through because I don't want to make this video too long. Let's go this way. Um, <clears throat> because you didn't cover, there's another bathroom yeah. here. Another um, bathroom. Oh, you gotta check out these felt wallpapers. They're kind of throughout the place. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Yeah, there's, and there's a um, Frank Lloyd Wright um, feature, light feature. Fun. Two and bedrooms. Yeah. Here's one bedroom. And these bedrooms get phenomenal lighting in the evening. It's just wonderful. Yeah, that's um, just to show you that we've, Arapahoe Acres has been featured in the Washington Post um, last month. Um, it was a 1950s flashback, so that's our uh, 15 minutes claim to fame. Check this wallpaper out, people. This is so fun. <laughs> I know you always like the velvet wallpaper. I know, I love <laughs> the velvet wallpaper because you don't see it. Here's another bedroom that could be used as an office as well. And um, no, oh, wait, way cool. These um, change I've got closet space here. All right, you know, what, maybe we need... need to go down into the basement now. Um, let me. I normally don't do the basement. Do you think it's significant enough just, to show Jill? Just we can just show her okay. We'll just do a real quick tour of the basement then. <clears throat> Um, you might want to mention as well, there's a lot of uh, the brickwork is all original in the house. Um, brickwork is original through the house. So the original stairs, another bathroom. And here's a laundry room. Laundry. Oh, um, you got to show me and the bike. The, gar oh. the garage as well. Yes. The okay. Garage. Turn, the, <laughs> turn that thing on. Check this out. It's an old, tiny, like, exercise thing. How did I turn it? Bike? I don't know, man. This thing is freaking nuts. Uh, I don't remember how I turned it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, I'm not really. <laughs> this is the original and the cabinet can't go with the house. And it's, then here's a movie theater as well. This is the original bike. You know, it doesn't look like you really should, have to pedal should, or anything on it. sit on it. Yeah, in my skirt. That would be really attractive. <laughs> 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 oh, well, that would be a good and way to... And then there, here's a movie. <laughs> movie air. Look, they have a little projector here giving you a little update on the 50s. And another little fireplace. All right, I'm going to turn this camera around and wrap this up. <laughs> Okay, I want to uh, thank you all who have watched.